Hey, welcome, 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 welcome. Court here. Let's do my little Scorpios. Let's do my little Scorpios. Let's do this. Let's do the first two weeks of March. You guys just brought me to January. It's funny how uh, my reads are doing that. <clears throat> so, for all of March Scorpios. Don't mind the cat in the background. <laughs> My sister's cat is in heat. So yeah, that's fun. We all know what that's like when we know what that's when you've had a cat that's in heat. So we got the world. I'm coming home. Tell the world that I'm coming home. <coughs> we got the nine of earth, the water, the queen of water, the queen of fire. You must be dealing with water. Uh, oh yeah, your Scorps. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Okay. The moon, it didn't flip, but it told me to take it. So this moon card is linked to the next one that comes out, okay? So, <clears throat> to the page of air. Alright, so what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next on the agenda? Thank you. Holy cannoli, are you kidding me? That's coming out in every read. We have the world and we have the nine of earth. We have the water with Jesus, the queen of fire. All right. So heavy water sign. This has got to be you guys. Okay. Um, it's earth, brand new opportunity that the universe is giving you. Okay. And it's going to come in with the moon or it already came in with the moon or it's having around the moon cycles or it's an opportunity or your Pisces are in, you got Pisces and moon. It's something. The opportunity is going towards the unknown, and it's it's from the divine. This card to me is the you know it's the divine, um, and it's gonna be victorious. But it's this is a test because I'm hearing right off the bat, will you, will you do it? Will you, will you take the test? Will you take the new opportunity? Will you go towards the unknown? Will you? Okay. Um, some of you are literally legitimately dealing with a will, okay? Either a will yum or a legit will because somebody passed away. Um, Scorpio, first two weeks, please. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Your happiness and trust, okay? What's this one? <clears throat> Freedom. Freedom! What was I singing here? Tell the world that I'm coming home. All right. So freedom, trust, happiness. You want your happiness? You got to go towards it. You got to trust in this situation. Okay. Freedom too. All right. It's it's all about having that freedom, being creating your own happiness, getting on the right path. Okay. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful spread. And... Some of you are going to have the opportunity to travel. You're going to make good money. You inspire other people. Um, don't I sound great? <laughs> the moon is the unknown. Are you a little confused about this message you might get from somebody? I'm feeling dilly-dally again. All right. You're dealing with a dilly-dally. All right. I've been saying that for months. I guess the dilly-dally is back because this is the <coughs> dilly-dally. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I just dilly dallying, okay? And the six of fire, all right. So, will you go towards the unknown? Tell me about the world. Mm. You all done, buddy? Yeah, okay. I have like half a slice. Half a slice? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess. Will you do me a favor? Will you? I know you're gonna go to the garbage. Will you give the rats the slice of pizza and throw the rest one? in the garbage? The whole one. Well, whatever that big piece is, give it to the rats. Okay. okay, thank you. That was my larger piece. Yeah, give it to the rats and um, give them a little piece of that garlic bread. They'll like you that. Want to try it? No, thank you. I already had a piece. It was good. I'm not crazy about that pizza, but I like the garlic bread. All right, so you're gonna get a message with the world here. Okay, so this is a very divine journey. Okay, um, this is social media. This is somebody finding you on social media. This is you on a dating website. This is somebody Googling your ass. This is something like that, okay? 
um, <clears throat> and this is straight up travel, you're going to get a message from a different, from a foreign land. And you might be like, eh, take it. Take it. Tell me about the nine of pence. This is, she's been coming out lately as like single, but this is everything you planted is ready. Okay, like, see what I'm saying? Like it's blooming. What do we got here? We got the Empress, we got the Empress, we got the Empress. Styling, profiling, okay? Nurturing, whatever you planted. So whatever you planted, you're going to nurture. Tell me about the Queen of Fire, which is you guys coming in as the Queen of as the Fire, okay? Um, <clears throat> and the Queen of Swords, holy cannolis, okay? So, is Lucy out there? You can let them in. Just let them in. They think you got food. Um... This is the Queen of Fire cutting out what no longer serves you, too. By having compassion. You got something complicated here. This is not three different women. This is nurturing what you planted. Having compassion. I think they're asking you to inspire as you go, but know your limits, know your boundaries. <coughs> Something's holding you down. I don't know what it is. Something's holding you down. Whatever's holding you down, get rid of it, please. Tell me about the Ace of Earth. It could be a feeling. It could be a thought. It could be a person. It's the chariot. All right, so it's moving forward. That's travel, too. With the world, oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Wow. You guys are traveling. You're moving forward. Your universe is going to give you a new start. If you got heavy cancer in your chart, this is your year, babies. This is your year. Especially if you have them in any of the nodes. So this is external energy to you. The page of air. Tell me about the page of air. And it's, I don't know if it's still unknown to you. Uh, see, that's what you planted. You're probably dealing with an air sign. But... We have all propensities in our chart. Uh, every zodiac in our chart, guys. It could be Earth as well, too. It's sitting on top of the moon. It could be water. Pisces. Okay. Um, but you're about to invest time in someone you know. In order to invest time, you need that trust. But you can be victorious. This is the second time. you got to let go of something. This is the second time I looked at the bottom of the deck, and it was the five of pence, okay? This is feeling lonely. Either they left you out, they ghosted you, left you out in the cold, breakups. However it went down, vice versa, it doesn't matter. It's coming back around. But you're like, this is big. This is big. This is like, to them, it's like, you're not looking at them like they're small or molecule or nothing like that. You're You're so wrapped up. And what the divine is about to give you. That. This person is not even on your mind right now. This is where that trust comes into play. This is that freedom to travel. To create your own happiness. Okay. This is the trust. And this is your happy. Like you're on the right path. Because they're putting you on the right path. See what I'm saying? Like this is so symbolic. Tell me about the six of fire. The hierophant. All right. So, damn. That's being in the spotlight, too. Okay. Holy. Someone's blowing up. Just like that. That's, that's major blow up. 
in, in a good way. And then you have this in the middle, okay, you have this. Tell me about the moon. This is that trust, you know, so it's like, you got to know that this is being guided. King of Swords, I told you, yeah, it's in with an air sign. This is being guided, okay? You got a court couple here. I'm surprised the Emperor didn't come out. But this is, this is whatever you planted with whatever person, the universe is asking you to trust it. They, you know, it's like... Maybe they want a relationship, maybe they don't. To me, this is straight up spotlight. The the Hierophant likes being in the public eye, okay? Um, and it's usually spiritual or religious, and that's a very spiritual person, okay? This is the Ace of Earth. That's that's a new stat with the, with the Chariot, like, whoa. And the Eight of Wands with the world, like, whoa. Like, whoa. Like, whoa. It's ironic because I my nail tech the other day he started like painting my nail he was he was like whoa I was like like what he's like whoa like whoa like whoa he <laughs> kept going back and forth this is whoa this is whoa okay um so you're dealing with an Aquarian with strong Pisces in their chart okay and to me the Hierophant can be straight up Taurus Taurus energy okay. So your additional advice, you know, you got the world, all right? A job well done. This is gratitude, all right? This is a path of achievement. This is moving forward. Damn. Ace, ace of Earth, so you got that twice, all right? Ebb and flow and abundance. A promising business adventure, too. Important documents and contracts coming your way, too. Hierophant signs contracts, too. Um, but this is a contract you have between the divine as well, okay? Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. And I didn't mean to demeanor this one. It, it's not me demeanoring or they feel small, you feel small. It's not like that. What's going on right here? This is the least of your concern, I'm telling you. If this is you and your energy, this is like... Well, I was just going to say this is like woe too. So you're just going to be happy all the way around. But the bottom line is they're pulling me back to trust. So there had to have been something that went down with this person. It doesn't matter. Just have compassion. Cut out the bullshit that no longer serves you in your life so you can push through and move forward. Congratulations. I'm a score prizing. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I've been waiting for this energy to come in and hit us, ladies and gents. So congratulations. Congratulations. Your feet are on fire. Fire. That's a song by Adele, too. Fire. In the rain. Something about rescuing. I don't know if this person thinks they're coming and rescue you. You don't need rescuing. You're going to rescue each other, if anything, is what I was just told. Okay? If anyone needs rescuing. Uh, rescuing. <clears throat> Any Uzi. Congratulations. I love you guys so much. Bye. I must have peace out. I don't know who I just was talking to, but peace out. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I don't say peace out. So that's that's whoever does that all the time. And YOLO, I do YOLO here and there. But I just got YOLO and peace out and ciao. Okay. So there's that. All right. So you could be traveling to Italy. You could be traveling to the hood. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where you're going. You could be traveling to Never Neverland. You could be going all the way back to Woodstock. I don't know where you're going, but you go in places. You go in places. Bye guys.